Good morning students. We are discussing on pavement design and highway construction. Our today's topic is design of flexible pavement as per its performance criteria that how the pavement can be designed. So let's start the lecture with our topic that flexible pavement design as per the performance criteria. IRC has recommended the CVR method for the design of flexible pavements. The CVR method not only consider the characteristics of the subgrade soil, but also takes into consideration the property of materials forming the various courses of the pavement. This figure shows the CVR design chart and the table is showing the seven different curves that A to G with corresponding its traffic units. The appropriate curve is selected based on the number of commercial vehicles per day that exceeding three ton laden weight. From this graph, the total thickness of flexible pavement that is needed is to cover the subgrade of the known CBR value can be obtained. In such cases, there is a material superior than the soil subgrade such that in it may be used as the subbase course. So at such cases, the thickness of the construction over such materials could be obtained from the design chart that is showing here from its knowing CVR value. The thickness of the subbase course is the total thickness minus the thickness of over the subbase course. Now when the CVR value of soil subgrade is less than 12 percentage, the total thickness of the pavement can be calculated by the expression that given from the US Corps of Engineers method is T is equals to under root P end bracket 1.75 upon the CBR value minus 1 upon P into pi raised to 1 by 2 that is also a root. Here the small t states the small t is mentioned for the pavement thickness. Capital P is for the wheel load on the layer and small p is the tire pressure that is in kilogram per centimeter square. Now, with that, IRC has mentioned some recommendations. They have mentioned some important points as a recommendation. That is that CVR test should be performed on remolded soils in laborate. In the C2 taste, in the site taste are not recommended for the design purpose. So the specimen should be prepared by static compaction wherever the possible and otherwise it can be done by dynamic compaction. For the design of new road, the subgrade soil sample should be compacted at optimum moisture content to proctor density whenever it is suitable compaction equipment is available to achieve this density in the field. Also in the new construction the CBR test sample may be soaked into water for four days. However, in areas with the arid climate or when the annual rainfall is less than 50 cm in such cases, it is not necessary to show the soil specimen before the carrying uh, before doing CBR test. Okay, at least three sample should be tested on each type of soil. That is, uh, this is also we have learned in the CBR test. Now, the top 50 centimeter of subgrade should be compacted at least up to 95 to 100 percent 
IRC has also recommended that when the sub, sub base course material contain substantial proportion of aggregates of size 20 mm, the severe values of such materials would not be valid for the design of the subsequent layers. Also, uh, IRC have recommended that a design traffic can be estimated by a formula and that is A is equals to P into 1 plus R raised to N plus 10 where A is equals to number of vehicles per day for design P is equals to number of heavy vehicles per day at least count small r is equals to annual rate of increasing of heavy vehicles and small n is equals to number of years between the last count and the year of the completion of construction so now let's move to the actual method how we can design the flexible pavement with the cbr method the indian road congress has revise the guidelines for the design of flexible payment that is based on the concept of cumulative standard excel load rather than the total number of all the commercial vehicles in the case of roads with the design traffic more than 1500 commercial vehicles per day the design traffic is defined in terms of cumulative number of standard excel loads of 8160 kg that carried during the design life of the road the mixed commercial vehicles with the different axle loads are to be converted in terms of the cumulative number of standard axle loads to carry the design to cater for the design using the formula that is an s is equals to 365 a into 1 plus r raised to n minus 1 whole divided by r into a number f where n s is nothing but the standard excel load a is equals to the number of commercial vehicle per day when the construction is completed is equals to annual growth rate of commercial vehicles small n is equal to the design life of that particular pavement capital F is nothing but the VDF that is the vehicle damage factor that is equivalent to the number of standard axles per commercial vehicle on each road stretch the total thickness required can be determined from graph with the value of standard axle load in million standard axles. The CBR value of subgrade soil can be determined in the laboratory. The IRC has also suggested the minimum thickness of the pavement component of subbase, base layer, and the subfacing layer, and the combination for various ranges of cumulative standard axles. For an example, for a range of 20 to 30 million standard axle, the sub-base course material should have the CBR value at least 30%. And the minimum compacted thickness of this component, of this layer, should be 390 to 405 millimeter. The base course should have a minimum compacted thickness of 20 of 250 millimeter and the surfacing should consist of 100 millimeter dense bituminous micarta and 40 millimeter of asphaltic concrete okay uh, let it clear with an example here we have to determine the design traffic of a flexible pavement if the initial traffic at 
the day of opening the road is 600 commercial vehicle per day and the VDF that is the vehicle damage factor and the lane distribution factor is taken as 2.5 and 0.75 with that we have to assume a design life as 20 years let's solve this example here as a given data we have the present traffic that is 600 commercial vehicle per day we are also uh, provided vdf that is 2.5 also we have the lane distribution factor is 0.75 so let calculate the number of commercial vehicle for a particular lane so to find out the number of commercial vehicle per day in a design lane is equals to that present traffic into the lane distribution factor and that is 450 so per day 450 commercial vehicles are moving on that particular stretch generally in india on the national highway we are taking the annual growth rate as a 7.5 percentage so our r would be 0.075 we have the design life that is 20 years okay so now we can substitute all this value in our formula of standard excel load that is 365a into 1 plus r raised to n minus 1 divided by r into f so after substituting all this value we are getting the excel load as a 17.78 into 10 raised to 6 that is in the standard excel now that 10 raised to 6 will be considered as a million so the final answer that the standard excel load is equal to 17.78 million standard excel your ns value will always be in msa that is million standard excels okay so students with this i'm concluding this lecture i hope students you understand the design of flexible pavement with the cvr method Thank you for your kind attention. We'll see you in the next lecture.